Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing week. So today is Wednesday, today is your last day to get into that 80,000 subscriber giveaway. So link that, I will link that in my end card um, so you can get in there and so I'll be doing that tomorrow so you'll know Friday. I will have Friday's video, we'll have the winners and also Friday's video is going to have a little art in it as well. We're going to do the um, the resin on top of Sunday's bling bling. So that is going to be for Friday. Today we're going to have some fun. I haven't done a Dutch pour in a while so we're going to get into doing a flower Dutch pour on a corner angle. So I've got everything ready. So I'm going to just bring you on down. Let me just get my phone in pocket. I'm going to bring it down. And I had to mix up a whole bunch of paint because Sherry hasn't done this in a little bit. So hopefully I can do what I want to do here. I'm just going to bring it in a little bit and down. There you go. Hello, way you up there. So I am going to try and do a Dutch pour like I did my four pieces of the flower that were all together. So I'm just, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna just go through the colors and then we're gonna show you how I'm doing it. So I have Artist Loft Titanium White mixed in, all of these are mixed in my Dutch Pour Mix, which I do have a video and I will also link it in the end card as well. So the colors I'm gonna use are Artist Loft Metallic White, or Black, my apologies, uh, Deco Art Bright Metallics 24 Karat Gold. We're going to use Folk Art uh, Treasure Gold Fire Opal Metallic as well. We're going to use Pebio Studios Iridescent Orange Yellow. And we're going to top it off with Pebio Studios Light Azo, I'm saying it wrong, Yellow irid with a irid Iridescent Medium. Wow, that was a hard one, my friends. So, my thoughts are I'm going to do the exact kind of same thing. I'm going to lay down my colors in my corner and we don't need a whole lot of paint and then I'm just going to blow it like this and we're going to see if it'll work. So I have pre-mixed up a bunch of white so we're just going to get right to it. We're going to flood these canvases. I'm going to give these guys a shake. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've used most of these, so I'm hoping they're good. And I just spurted black, not on me, so that's good. Okay, we're gonna get right onto this, my friends. Make sure your canvas is level. My canvas is taped, push pinned. I purchased these at the office supply store here in Canada called Staples. Um, Amazon has them. I'll try and find the link and I will link it in the description box as well. And you want to make sure this is level because it'll go all funky if it's not. So we're going to do a base coat of the white. Get all of that loveliness on there. And I'm going to use my omelette spatula. This is a from OXO, the same company that I use my um, silicone mixing measurement cups that I use for my resin. This is the same company. Amazing, amazing. Had this for almost four years now. Pretty cool. I go between this and doing it with my blow dryer. I like doing it both ways. The nice thing is with the blow dryer, I don't have to clean it off. <laughs> but this is awesome. I like it for uh, for this. Let me just perfect. Just give it a good wipe. It's always good to clean it as we're going. There we go. I am going to try to get. Oh, that's all done. So I'm going to use this. We're going to get the edging. So 
especially these three corners because I'm not going to try and go over the corners. And I didn't say my canvas is a 14 by 14 inch. I'm just going to get the edging here. Make sure we're all covered. Best tools that you own are your hands. There we go. And I probably could have had gloves on, but you know, it is what it is. It's only paint and it's not going to kill me. So I'm going to, I've got to turn my fan off so I can turn my blow dryer on. And I'm just going to heat this up a little. I didn't mean heat it up. I just wanted to kind of even it out. I'm going to put a little more up here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to put more around and then when I blow, we'll be good. So my thoughts are I'd like to have a nice dark corner. So I'm going to put my black down. And I'm going to go kind of heavy with the black. And I'm going to mix a little bit of this fire opal in it. This might turn out like not very nice, but hey, we're going to play. That's the part of experiments, right, my friends? We're going to do some gold around this and be careful with this gold because... As lovely as it is, it takes right on over. I'm going to do my Peblio Studios orange yellow. And these ones I'm going to do a fair chunk because I want these colors to stay. And the Peblio's Azo yellow. There we go. Now, let's see if this will work. I'm going to get my torch. We're going to torch this so that the bubbles... Let me just... I want to get that corner. Okay. Torch. So the bubbles will be burst. And I'm going to pour a little bit more here just because I want it to be level there as opposed to having a, a dip in it so that it's not. I'm going to pour just a tad around it so that there's movement. And I don't want to go too crazy because you don't want too much paint on there as well, right? Because then you're going to have an issue where it's going to fall it's going to sink back into itself. So, all right. Here we go. Now we don't want to go too crazy. We'll see. <sighs> My blood air, it only works on one speed and it's high. So here we go, guys. Just see here. Let's 
give this a nice torch. Love that. Let me put a dab of black in here and I'm going to blow it this way. Oh my goodness, that's getting worse. Well, let's just. There's white, so much white in there. Let me just do this. And I'm going to blow it this way. I definitely want that corner to be black. Here we go. there that's not bad I don't mind that I'm not liking how it's so white um, maybe let me see I love how these come up yeah that's just gonna be wish me luck okay we're playing we're gonna put more paint I'm gonna do <clears throat> Let's just do this. I normally don't play. I normally just leave it and that's how it is. But I really want these colors to come out. So let's see. And I think this happens because I put the white around it. Let's see what happens here. You can play, my friends. Hmm. I liked it. Actually, I like the edging better the first without me playing with it. Let's get some torch in here. Whoa, we're stuck on. Stop. There we go. We're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to try to make some petals here. And I'm just going to use my finger. I know it's going to fall in amongst itself, so that's fine. And there's a lot of white on here. That's what my issue is, I thinking. don't like it guys you know what I don't think I've ever done this we're gonna go for it we're doing it I 
I just hope I have enough white. <laughs> My issue is there was too much paint. This is all good. I'm going to dump. I just want to get that little bits of color out of there. I'm just going to dump this on here. And I'm going to do it with my blow dryer. I'm going to spread it out with my blow dryer. we go we're not all perfect my friends so you know if you're not happy rip it out do it again it's only paint I just hate wasting paint so that's my thing that's why I kind of quit doing the paint stuff like this so here I'm gonna give this a torch and I got a lump a dump of something there Oh my goodness, Sherry. There we go. I have a... Oop, there we go. So, I'm going to try. I'm going to just get... Oh, I'm going to try this again. Hopefully there's not that much white in there. I'm not going to put this folk art. It went pink. So I'm going to try this one. This one is Deco Art Metallics. This is Rich Espresso. I was kind of wanting a brown. So this. Then we will do the orange or the gold. And then we'll do the orange. And the yellow. Look, you're getting two for one today. I was feeling bad because it was going to be a short video. <laughs> Actually, maybe I might do some more. I don't know. There we go. Let's get rid of that lump of orange. Let's do another torch to get rid of the bubbles. If you do not burst your bubbles. Oh, why does this keep sticking on? If you don't burst your bubbles, you will end up with little pinholes of in your paint when you're dry. And you don't want that. I'm not worried if you can see a little bit of coloring in here because all I'm really worried about is this area here. I want that to stay white. Let's try this and try not to do too much of the black. Here we go.
more this way. I'm just going to use my mouth here. There, I like that. Let's see what we can get going on here. Oh, the silly thing. It has a, you, t you turn it and it stays on, but it keeps staying on for me. Now this I don't mind. Now, Now what I might do is just put a dab of black in here and try to blow this way. so that it's not white and <laughs> no matter what I'm doing it's white uh, still not on the I'm on the fence guys it is what it is right hmm oh, I'm debating whether to bring Some of this up into the areas where there's not. I got a hair again. just oh, I hate to make a mess of there let's just we're going for it Well, you know what? I'm just going to leave it because this is how it's going to be. <laughs> it was a try. I would have liked to have had more def a definition of the leaves. I just don't want to play with it again because then it'll end up being a mush again. Look at all that paint. Oh, look at that gold. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of uh, trials and errors of making a flower with a Dutch pour. I do like the colors, but... I'm just saddened that they were so muted with the, because the white. As you're doing your Dutch pours, remember, you always go around every so often for the first hour or so to get the drips off. Because if you don't, it will pull, eventually pull, if you have too much paint on your canvas, it'll pull the your uh, composition off. So there you go. Well, I'm going to wipe my hands off. I'm going to bring in for a close up of this sort of so-called flower and I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, here we go, my friends. So I like to do this with my channel. You get all of me. You get the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, I am human. We all make mistakes and we don't always like some of the things that we do. So <clears throat> I like to show you that, you know, I'm not perfect. So here's a not so perfect in my opinion, but it might be fine. It might dry beautifully. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. I do love the, um, the cells in here. 
It is very beautiful. It's just, I was more in my head, I was wishing for a little bit more of this kind of idea where the petal like that. But it is what it is. Um, when it dries, we might come back and maybe embellish it. We might put some other things on top of it because that would be cool as well. So with that, my beautiful people, I'm going to say, do not forget to go and make a comment. Make sure you're a subscriber. And um, for my 80,000 giveaway, because today at midnight is the last for you to enter. It is worldwide and I will pay the shipping. So with that, please, if you have not yet subscribed, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications ah, that's too funny hit that thumbs up if you like the video give it a share and in my description box i'll have the links to everything i used here today i also have the links to my amazon shops which i'm an affiliate with i have the links to fundy molds with a discount code i have the links to where to purchase crystal resin i have the links to where to purchase tri art liquid glass I also have the links to Let's Resin with a discount code, and it is Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. My two amazing Lores distributors, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for her is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. The amazing Laura, my glitter guru, my American Lores distributor. My discount code for her is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that, I have my PayPal link in there if you choose to donate to help support the channel. And my long-winded exit. I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.